Hey, our front porch video again, and today it is raining outside, and I love rain. Um, it's, it's so peaceful, and I know not everybody agrees with me, but there is one thing that we can all agree on. When it's raining, everything gets wet. <laughs> so today, we're going to talk just a tiny bit about lubrication, and over the next few weeks, I'm going to do a series on the different types of lubrication that exist, because there are a bunch of different types of lube. Some are great, some are not and some are presumed great, but don't necessarily work well for everything. So we're gonna talk about the differences, um, what you should be using for which activities, what you shouldn't be using at all, ever. <laughs> um, and I hope that it is super informative for you. So uh, today, all I want you to do is take a look at the lubricant that is in your nightstand or your medicine cabinet or your I don't know, red room, <laughs> whatever it is that you have, wherever you store that stuff. Um, and look at the ingredients. If you could remove your nail polish with your lubricant, or if you could de-ice a plane with your lubricant, that's probably not the best thing to put inside of any sort of bodily orifice, right? That should probably not go near your genitals. So um, take a look at that ingredient list and just see what it's made of. Check it out. Um, and if you don't like what you see, maybe toss it. Maybe check out the lubricants on my website at grownupsexed.com. Just to check. <laughs> See if they might be a little better than what you're using. Okay? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And I look forward to sharing with you all kinds of information about lubricant here in the next few weeks. Talk soon.